Hello. Today we will learn how to install the Zero Export device in your single phase grid tie inverter in just a few simple steps. The Zero Export device is used where there's a delay in net metering or when net metering isn't allowed at all. The device is used to restrict any electricity export from grid tie inverter to grid. Step 1. Identify the distance between grid tie inverter and distribution box. If the distance between grid tie inverter and distribution box is less than 10 meters, we will use only the current transformer or CT. Switch off the main AC power and DC supply as well by pulling down AC MCB and DC MCB. Connect the current transformer by clamping it to the red wire or line wire coming from the distribution box. Make sure the direction of the arrow engraved on the CT should be towards the grid side. Connect the RS485 terminal to the CT port available on the inverter and rotate it clockwise until it gets fixed. Your CT connection has been successfully completed. If the distance between grid tie inverter and distribution box is more than 10 meters, we will add an export power manager or EPM along with CT. EPM can also be used in cases where you want to manage multiple grid tie inverters. You can connect up to 10 grid tie inverters of different ratings with the distance of 1000 meters to the distribution box. Follow the same process to connect the CT to electrical meter as before. Connect the CT wire to the EPM box by inserting the RS485 terminal to the CT port available on EPM box and rotate it clockwise until it gets fixed. To provide electricity to the EPM, take two separate 2.5 square millimeter red and black wires. Connect one end of the red wire to line wire, which is red in color, and black wire to neutral wire, which is black in color, in the fuse box of the distribution box. Connect the other end of the red wire to pin 2 and black wire to pin 3 of the RS485 terminal. Connect the RS485 terminal of the grid input cable to the grid port in the EPM box and rotate it clockwise until it gets fixed. To connect the EPM box to the inverter, insert RS485 terminal of the cable to COM INV port in the EPM box and the other end of the terminal to COM port in the inverter. To connect EPM box to the multiple grid tie inverters, connect the RS485 cable coming from EPM COM INV port to pin 2 and pin 3 of RS485 terminal and make daisy chain by connecting next wire to pin 2 and pin 3 of RS485 terminal only by soldering the wires and insert the connector in COM port given in grid tie inverters. After completing all the connections, pull up the AC MCB and DC MCB. The power LED, which is red in color, will turn on, which indicates that the EPM box is connected to the grid and has been successfully installed. The operation LED, which is green in color, will turn on, which indicates EPM box is connected to the inverter. Remove the dongle connected to the inverter by rotating it anti-clockwise and then insert it in the communication port of the EPM box by rotating it clockwise until it gets fixed. To remotely monitor multiple grid tie inverters, you will have to install Wi-Fi or a GPRS box by connecting the RS485 terminal to the communication port of EPM box. Step 2. Zero Export Limit Configuration Following are the configuration steps to be performed on single grid tie inverter when the current transformer is installed. Step 1. On GTI display, first press Enter. Press down key three times and press Enter to select Advanced Settings flashing on display. Step 2. Then enter password 0010 by pressing down key two times and up key one time and then press enter. Step 3. After pressing enter, 
you will see select standard flashing on display. Press down key one time and press enter to select grid on or off option. Step 4. Press down key one time and press enter to select grid off option. Step 5. After grid off option is selected, press down key 9 times and press enter to select internal EPM set and press enter to select mode select option. Step 6. In mode select, there are three modes, meter in grid, off and meter in load. Press enter to select meter in grid option. Step 7. After selecting meter in grid, press escape and press down key one time and press enter to select backflow power. Press down key two times and up key one time to set backflow power to 100 watts and press enter. Step 8. Then press down key one time and press enter to select fail safe on or off. Check it should be written on in front of fail safe set on display. Then press enter to on fail safe. Step 9. Press escape three times and down key four times and press enter to select advanced settings. Step 10. Again, enter password 0010 by pressing down key two times and up key one time and then press enter. Step 11. After pressing enter, you will see select standard flashing on display. Press down key one time and press enter to select grid on or off option. Press enter to select grid on option. Step 12. Press escape two times and wait for few seconds and limb by EPM will display on screen, which indicates ZED is ready to function. Following are the configuration steps to be performed on the grid tie inverter when the export power manager or EPM box is installed with its current transformer. On GTI display, first press enter, press down key three times and press enter to select advanced settings flashing on display. Then enter password 0010 by pressing down key two times and up key one time and then press enter. After pressing enter, you will see select standard flashing on display. Press down key one time and press enter to select grid on or off option. Press down key one time and press enter to select grid off option. After grid off option is selected, press down key nine times and press enter to select external EPM set and press enter to select mode select option. In mode select, there are three modes, meter in grid, off and meter in load. Press enter to select meter in grid option. After selecting meter in grid, press escape and press down key one time and press enter to select backflow power. Press down key two times and up key one time to set backflow power to 100 watts and press enter. Then press down key one time and press enter to select fail safe on or off. Check it should be written on in front of fail safe set on display. Then press enter to on fail safe. Press escape three times and down key four times and press enter to select advanced settings. Again, enter password 0010 by pressing down key two times and up key one time and then press enter. After pressing enter, you will see select standard flashing on display. Press down key one time and press enter to select grid on or off option. Press enter to select grid on option. Press escape two times and wait for few seconds and limb by EPM will display on screen, which indicates ZED is ready to function. To set addresses of multiple grid tie inverters, first press enter. Then press down key one time and press enter to select settings. Press down key one time and press enter to select set address. Press up key respectively to set address number. With respect to number of inverters connected and then press enter to save set address. When multiple GTIs are connected with EPM, 
all inverter configuration steps need to be performed in each GTI connected. For configuring multiple GTIs on EPM, follow the below steps. On EPM display, first press enter. Press down key three times and press enter to select advanced settings flashing on display. Then enter password 0010 by pressing down key two times and up key one time and then press enter. Press enter key to select inverter quantity set. Set quantity of total inverters connected with EPM by pressing up key and press enter to save the selected inverter quantity. Press down key one time and press enter to select backflow power. Set backflow power to 100 watts by pressing down key 5 times and up key 1 time and then press enter to save. Press down key 3 times and press enter to select fail safe on or off. Press down key 1 time to set fail safe at 0 1 and then press enter to save. Press escape key two times and you will see the status of EPM. Now that all the connections and configurations have been completed, your Zero Export device installation has been completed.